care for our most vulnerable babies and NICU admission rates are on the rise across the nation. September is actually National NICU Awareness Month and to help calm the nerves of expectant parents, neonatologists at Ready Children's Hospital in Scripps Encinitas, Dr. Casey Cohenmeyer, good morning to you and, and thank you for being here. Good morning. The rise for babies to be in NICU, why? Mm -hmm. We're not 100% sure. Um, we are seeing it nationally. Um, there's been a rise from around 6% to 9% over the last decade that has been seen. We think it's potentially from moms who are just sicker potentially before they get pregnant, increased rates of high blood pressure, increased rates of diabetes, and also, moms are having babies later in life now as well. They so, are having babies. Yeah. I remember the time that I was pregnant for four babies and it was mm -hmm. A stressful time just to make sure that babies are okay, that I'm going to be okay, and that stress in itself causes a whole host of uh, issues for mamas, right? Right, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, what are the reasons why babies would end up uh, in a NICU? Mm -hmm. Is this just something that happens at birth, mm -hmm. right at that time? Yeah, there's a, a variety of reasons. Probably the most common would be um, prematurity. So, babies who are born less than 35 weeks of gestation, so about a month and a half premature all of those babies would need to be admitted to the NICU. Um, we admit babies all the way down to 23 weeks gestation, so that's after only six months of pregnancy. Then older babies uh, who are born at term sometimes are admitted because they might have an infection at the time of delivery, um, or they just might have trouble getting rid of the natural fluid that's in their lungs, and that's called TTN or transient tachypnea of the newborn, um, and it just takes some time to get rid of that natural normal fluid. I think it was Scripps, that hospital, um, that I was able to go into a NICU. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, my word. It's just yeah. so emotional to be right. there and see these little teeny tiny babies. Right. And then parents there wanting to make sure that their, their children are going to be okay. Right. right. That support that they get in there um, from the nurses, from the, the doctors, super important for these families, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And we really want to make sure that our parents, when they're in our Rady NICUs, which are little islands of Rady Hospital inside of all of our Scripps facilities as well. So we have four NICUs. Um, okay. Rady NICUs inside of Scripps. It's a fabulous partnership. And our nurses are great at really getting our parents to be hands-on, be able to hold even their sickest babies, even mm -hmm. the small babies that are even down to 13 ounces is our smallest baby we've ever taken care of. 13 and ounces? 13 I ounces. Let me try to... Yeah, 13 ounces, one hand. Yeah. So the baby would fit in one... Mm -hmm. <gasps> Easily in one hand, oh. yeah. Yep. Oh, and my word. How long do these babies on average stay in the NICU? So on average, 12 days is our average length of stay for okay. our level 3 NICU at Radiant Scripps La Jolla. Um, but it's a wide range. Some babies are in for only 24 hours if it's just something like that normal leftover fluid in the lungs. And our smallest babies um, are in for almost five months. Five months? Yep. Inside yep. of the NICU and they can't go yep. home. Five oh, months, those yep. moms and dads, I can't imagine yep. what that yep. feeling would be like yeah, for them. I mean, we, the message I would give to parents, though, is it doesn't have to necessarily be a scary thing. Okay. Um, if you're in the NICU for five months with us, that means you had a very small, very tiny baby um, who most likely is going to be okay long term. They I really love that. Are. Talk yeah. about that message a little bit more yeah. for families that you may not know if you're, you know, pregnant right, right now and you're expecting yeah. a baby, that whether or not you may end up needing the, the NICU, what yeah. message would you tell? Yeah, that the vast majority of babies who come into the NICU go home healthy, normal kids. It just takes some time. It just takes some it time. It just takes some time. And you will end up uh, making a lot of friends and a second family, especially if you're with us for five months. Yeah. You will become part of our family. That is very true, and I know yeah. many families who their babies have been in NICU, and that's exactly what they yeah. say. Uh, Dr. Casey Cohenmeyer, we appreciate you uh, coming right. by. Thank you for, right. for being Thank here. Thank you. Thank you for having me.